I wanted to do a special video for you hobbyists out there who every time you order tarantulas think, why the heck is the shipping so high? So today I'm going to do a box building and pricing video for you. The first thing I have to do is go to my local hardware store and buy some styrofoam. Here looking at the 4x8 sheets of 1 inch styrofoam. This 1 inch styrofoam is the thinnest styrofoam available to me in town and you have to take all of that into consideration in the size of your box when you've got to fit in 4 walls of styrofoam your packing, your animals, heat packs, cool packs, it all affects the price depending on the size and weight of your box. So now that I've gone all around town and gotten back home and gathered the supplies that I need, obviously I have my box, good sized piece of styrofoam, paper towels, scissors, my spray bottle to damp my paper towels, nets, a sharpie, and a container for the animal I'm prepping to ship. The big 4x8 sheet of styrofoam is about $12. Obviously that lasts me a few boxes. I use my big old machete and just get to cutting. This size of box that I'm using would be for a large lot of little spiders or an adult spider. And I charge $35 and $15 and a box this size usually um, goes over that price, but I like to have a set rate so my buyers always know what they're getting into when they buy from me. Now with a little bit of finesse, I've got a nice piece for the bottom and I need to cut one the exact same size for the top. Now that I have the two pieces of styrofoam for the top and the bottom pressed to the bottom, I measure out another piece of styrofoam to measure the height. This is essentially going to be how tall the walls are between the top and bottom barrier. And so this will be my template for building the height of the walls. Now that I have the bottom, top, and the sides built, let's put them in and make sure they fit. You want this to be as tight as possible and in extreme weather I actually also build a compartment for the heat and or cool packs and it looks like it's going to be a nice fit. On to the next part. Depending on the weather I often need a heat or a cool pack. The heat packs often cost up to $3 a piece and these ice packs can cost up to $5 or more. Whenever you use uh, one of these devices to keep your animals warm or cool, always make sure to put a barrier between the heat cool pack or the animal to make sure that you don't freeze or cook your animal. Once I have my box built, I made sure to line my container with damp paper towels to make sure the animal doesn't dehydrate. I make also enclose the top with paper towels. I will secure my container, tape it, label it, put it in the bottom, and then a, an easy recyclable material to help cushion the trip is just crumpled up newspaper. And when I'm convinced that the animal's nice and secure, I'll use another piece of insulation, activate my heat pack, put my lid on, and tape this bad boy up. Now another expensive material, other than the containers, paper towels, spray bottles, all that jazz, is the actual packing tape. A roll of packing tape can cost between three and five dollars and depending on how much tape I need, sometimes one of those rolls of tape will only last me a box or two. And the cheaper tape you get, the harder it is to work with and the less secure I feel my box is. That's another added expense. The last thing I need to do is make sure my package is properly labeled and get it off to the shipper. There you go, the process and expense of every little package that goes out 
with tender loving care from the Deadly Tarantula Girl or most other shippers. I have abbreviated this process for you guys, but I would say it would take me about 45 minutes to pack this box in real life with a real animal. Including the labor and the materials, shipping can get pretty pricey. So now that you understand the process a little bit more, I hope that that helps ease your conscience when you pay that big fat shipping bill. This was another video from the Deadly Tarantula Girl. I will soon do a detailed packing video on packing an adult tarantula. Stay tuned for that one and I'll see you guys soon.